All right, so here's the setup. Uh, the plow is off uh, a truck, I believe, originally, but then someone said they had it on a 2001 tracker. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but um, it's a manual angle plow. So you pull the pin here and you can either angle it right or left or have it go straight. Um, the lift cylinder is a single acting cylinder. It's a Western plow cylinder, I believe. Um, it's a six inch stroke, so it just lifts up this and lifts up the chain, which lifts the blade. <clears throat> uh, the mount to the frame is a copycat of the snow, snow bear mount. So I cut out some a piece of uh, 3 8 steel plate and I um, tried to copy the, the copy the size and shape. So this top bolt here is an L bolt. Um, so what that means is it's just a bolt that's and it slides inside an L shape. So right now that's tightened down against the inside of the frame because the bolt is like an L. So it's the bolt is pulling on itself to keep it tight. So anyway, from there it it bolts to a cross brace. So the cross brace is something that I'm fabricated uh, to fit. So as you can see, the side plates bolt to the cross brace here. And the cross brace has these uh, receivers welded to them so that you slide the pin through. I don't have the, I don't have the pins in right now, the safety pins, but the pins are through right now. And so the plow actually slides into that. Let me just grab a light here. So you can see the better. So it's the same thing on this side. So the uh, frame, um, the frame is like a piece of plate and it bolts to this cross brace here. <clears throat> so if you want to take it off, it's pretty straightforward. Um, and so then we have the pump here. I haven't mounted the pump yet because there's no space under the hood. So I'm going to put the pump up on this right here, I believe. Um, and then it should be fine. So right now I just have the pump just kind of on a, on a car battery there. So yeah, the pump is just like a, I think it was from a dump trailer or something. I'm not sure. It came with the plow. Um, but, uh, so you just, you just press up on the switch there and the whole thing goes up and you press down and, uh, just brings the whole thing down. So it's, uh, you know, I almost hit the hydraulic line there. That would have been bad. But yeah, it's pretty uh, straightforward. Um, it's nice that you can just take the plow off without any uh, tools or anything, right? So now to take the plow off, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you just lower it down. And then I'm gonna, I have the wrong size pins in right now. Just so need to pick up some three quarter pins. But just to make things easier, I got pins put in. So I'm gonna take one pin out. And then, now these are too small right now. They're gonna be replaced with three quarter pins. Take the other pin out. Plow for, the plow part uh, comes off there now. So then you um, undo the piece of chain here. Now those pins are taken out. You can just slide out the mount part. Go. Takes about a minute to take the plow off. Then you can, uh, you know, drive across town or put the vehicle up for service, whatever. And then just putting it back together, you know, super easy. Just go ahead and get the mount, line it back up again. Slide that in. Then you uh, drive this over. Line it up. This is probably the hardest part, but slide. You wouldn't want to do this on gravel. Or anything, but you can slide it around on the ground pretty easy. There you go. Hook 
your chain back up. All right, here's how you get the mount on and off. So I uh, put it up on the lift just because it's a lot easier to see, um, like like for me to get the camera. So <clears throat> these, this is the plate, um, kind of a gross piece of metal left here because I cut it off with the torch. There's a piece of uh, uh, tubing, square tubing attached to it. But anyway, that's besides the point. So this is just a piece of plate. It bolts on up here at the elbow bolt and then it bolts onto this cross brace here <clears throat> and so in order to get it off you have to take these bolts out first and another one that goes up here so it's attached on the t on the sides and the top and so you take those out and then you can take the chassis plates off brace out now and uh now you can kind of see it a little bit better so it's uh just two sections of a square two inch receiver hitch pieces, just store bought. Welded on to the two and a half inch piece of square tubing I had kicking around. And I got two little plates on the end there with the holes in it for a, a half inch holes for the bolts. And got a, uh, got a little hole cut in the bottom here just so we can get a, get a wrench up in there. And then uh, you just go over and you take the, I already loosened these up with the wrench. You just take these nuts off the frame plates here. So, they kind of so the way these work is the bottom, well, I can get some more better lighting here. So they, they put, they got one hole up here and then it hooks into the frame here, uh, right here. So it hooks into the frame. So that kind of holds it in place. And then you have your bolts for the side and your bolt for the top on your cross tube. So that is what I call the snow bear copycat. Cause this is exactly what they do with their mount. So I figured if they designed it and sold it, and sold it for a fair bit of money, and it must be half decent, so I won't try and reinvent the wheel. I'll just try and copy it, and it looks kinda... Now this bottom, this piece here is just tacked on for now, because I was playing with that one a little bit, but uh, well, this is all welded up here. Not amazing welds, but you know, they should, they should hold up okay. There you have it.